Good morning, goat lovers. We are on day two, feeling really good. Um, today, we actually start with the bucks. So we're gonna get those bucks ready, get their collars on them, and we gotta head up to the ring. So feeling hopeful, it's two new judges today. So we'll see how we do today. Hopefully a little bit better. So you're up first, Legend. How do you think it's going to go today? Yeah? These bangs are going to win. Nothing interesting to add, huh? Yeah? I think you're right. So this is a four ring show and there were two rings yesterday and two rings today. And I'm going to be your ringside announcer for today and uh, in keep you informed on all the exciting things that are happening here at the uh, Pinal County Goat Show. You're some lucky peeps right now. Here's one year, but under two. <laughs> Nancy Harris, I need Cupid. Oh, forget it. She's trapped. Thank you. Okay. That may be a That's your class. Huh? That's your class. All right. So this is the Nigerian dwarf over one year old but under two year old class. Are you on the right? Seven goats out there. The judge has got to check their testicles and make sure they're both present, which has got to be the worst thing to do this early in the morning. <laughs> and she's checking their the skin, and what are they feeling on the rib cage there, Crystal? Flatness of bone. They shouldn't be rounded. She's going to give each goat a good look at and a good... Good check. So the, this is a real test for the judge to not touch, touch her face for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not wearing gloves. Yes, I'm wearing gloves and I didn't touch it. <laughs> See, Legend doesn't kick. Oh, she got a little fussy. She did touch her hair. I'm sure she has some really good goat milk soap to get that stuff off. Got your paperwork? <laughs> Just gonna give Legend an up close look. Oh yeah. Thank you, Lord. Your brother, Lee Lowe. 
Floppy McFlopperson, though. Yes. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> He's way better today, is he not? He's like, all right, fine, let's do this. Let me show him what I'm made of. Drop him down. Hey, this is a very nice class. Of yearly Johnny Rico. Um, when you look at Bucks, Johnny Rico, uh, it's quite a bit different. Um, you start out with Bucks, and then you get 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 Bucks. But um, general appearance, um, especially feet and legs, smoothness of blending um, is very important. Uh, front end assembly, uh, very nice class. But I think the Buck at the head of the line has the advantage in that smoothness of blending. Um, he is so uphill. Uh, he's got a lot of width in that chest floor in general appearance. And then in dairy strength, um, he's got still very soft, pliable skin, uh, flat bone, uh, then the buck in two. Oh, legend comes out of legend. Legend. Setting the tone for today. <laughs> All right, Legend, you just placed first. How do you feel, buddy? I told you the bangs would win it. You did. You were right. <laughs> All right, Lucky. Anything to say about Everest before he goes in? You just want to pee on my camera, don't you? <laughs> exactly what he wants to do. It's dangerous. Yeah. Projectiles everywhere. <laughs> All right, so this is over two, but not four. Three-year-old Nigies. That is Everest out there, Crystal's holding. Wrinkles, look at that. Wrinkles. Yes, these wrinkles. He's there. <laughs> so the same thing as before, the judge is gonna give uh, everyone a look over. She's gotta grab the uh, huevos. The, Check for teats, make sure everything's there. So that's what Crystal is saying. I think it's hard to judge a goat when it's hopping all around like that last place one. That's, that's how Legend acted yesterday. Set his legs, woman. There she goes. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna, gonna go for a walk. Moment. 
moment of truth, will they behave? Everest looks, he does, he looks tossed, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Get, get Legend off me. Oh. Crystal kind of ran away, I think. Oh yeah, count them wrinkles. You can't, we don't have time. She's like, ah, uh, if you watch one of the movies, the real similar is what you did from uh, the front end back to the rear end. I have a little bit of damage here on the second place, but I can get back into the rear end. Moment of truth here. Now the, they're brushing the sawdust away from the feet of the goats, so the goats will stand level and the judge can eyeball the feet. Make sure they're strong. Make sure the feet are strong. I think Eric's got a good chance here. Just got placed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thanks, Judge. I like this. Trip. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Thank you, your subscriber. Thank you, Betty. She's probably a subscriber. Nah. She's gonna buy a shoe with like Everest is snot. He's, yeah, He's happy. He's <laughs> Big boy, deep shoulders. Professor Big Beard. You know he wants? He wants to be let loose. Oh. Oh, he got his Oh. Everest is peeing. All over Crystal's oh, no. foot. We got that on camera. We got it. <laughs> First place, boys. This is our class of Nigerian um, 300 by us. Uh, nice class. Uh, I'm starting out with the bucket at the head of the line. First of all, in general, the parents. These more upstanding, most standard. Smoothest of the ending, and more level across the top line. And then also uh, in that smooth blending in that front end assembly, a little tighter in that uh, shoulder set assembly than the other ones. And in body capacity, if you provide uh, thought. Did she just call him Dose? Yeah, he did good. Yeah, he did good. All right, I need the collar. I gotta take a look. Look. So, Everest took, just took first. She said that he was better than the rest. So I gotta get in the ring with Lucky. Hopefully that'll be the same. <laughs> He just got his uh, enhancing animal cracker. Just the two? Oh, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Lucky does not like it when when they no, check his they check his balls and stuff. Okay, we're going to the second place to compete for this. Uh, and here now, we just have an extra nine. Lucky is not cooperating. Uh, tons of balance. Uh, I'm going to step up there. 
And let's go one again. So now they've got all the first place and second place in the ring to decide who wins this.
That was cool. You got reserve? Got reserve. Where's your ribbon? It'll come in the mail. So we'll wait for that. <laughs> How you feel, buddy? Like a brat. Yeah. Like you a gotta brat. do it all again in the next ring. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's thick, man. He's a thick boy. He's legend into ring four. New judge. Each judge is going to do the same kind of stuff. But they, they all have different things that they look for or favor. Be good, legend, be good. Suspense. Everest is peeing again. It's lucky versus this other buck. Fourth time. 
And the other buck is being blocked three times. So let's see. Look, he hasn't really cooperated though. Looks like that will continue. We were all in position for the senior dose show. How are you going to do today, Mayo? Yeah? Is that what you think? Mayo has spoken. What do you think, Cassie? How about you, Lily? No comments, saving it, saving it for when you're out there. Any advice, girls? No, they're just, they're just studying my knot. Cassie, you don't tell them how to do it, okay? Where how often I've been doing that. <laughs> You better not be not pressing record. Okay, so got a little crazy there for a second. I was just chit chatting with Danelle, and we hear from this far ring over here. I'm waiting on ring one because the Nigis senior does were supposed to go in ring one first, and then I hear from ring two all the way across the way. One year old Nigis are up, so we got to run and get our seniors because we they weren't it wasn't time yet but uh anyway the togs scratched were before the nigis and we made it up here just in time and we're about to go in the ring so whew, we got this Legs are dead back 
All right, so look who I found, guys. So she was just in the neighborhood, thought she'd swing by. She happened to have her white clothes and a couple goats with her. So we're hanging out here at the goat show. Super cool. Yeah. She's teaching me everything she knows. Like I'm a total newbie here. I'm like basically latching on her, <laughs> holding on to her shirt as she leads me around. Well, she's but. in good hands and, and it's really awesome to have her. So in that yeah. ring there, uh, Mayo just took first. So as a yeah. three-year-old, which is awesome, because again, there's super beautiful does here. And with the udders with the senior does, it's kind of a hit and miss. They don't usually bag up as pretty as the day before because of the stress and oh, so forth. Yeah. And not to mention, it is so hot here, you guys. So. The, the does are frustrated, they're ornery, they don't really want to stand, but we did really good in there, so that means Mayo gets to go back in for um, the Grand Champion lineup. Hopefully, hopefully we will do good. That's awesome. I'm and, excited. And Danelle brought some little kitties, so babies. Yeah, me and Danelle will be um, in, in the ring with the juniors. We're going to be against each other. Yep. So, in one of them. I can't remember which one. But no matter who wins, we'll still be friends, right? Yeah, yeah, maybe. But she's going down, <laughs> guys. She's going down. <laughs> okay, so for the second time today, Danelle has distracted us, probably on purpose so she can win. And Emily came in late to the five-year-old Nige. Horrible thing to be right about. So Mayo just got her second leg. Hopefully she'll be able to get her third leg in the other ring, but that is awesome. You did so good. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud. Now, um, because May has signed up for Champion Challenge, now May has to go up against Mayo again. Um, so we'll see. Last time at the last show, Mayo won. So we'll see how, she, how May does this one. Angulation and in that real leg step as you watch you walk from behind. 
for placing all the five um, for that memory system, the height of the water, the brisket uh, area, then the five. Five is placing all the six again in the post placing. Um, I, I think for the so, in his opinion, he said, especially since he knew it was Dam and Daughter, he said they were just exceptional, um, and both of them had really beautiful memories, but because Mayo had a little bit more capacity, meaning more milk, um, he was just going to stick with Mayo here, but he couldn't fault either of them, so... Pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So you won best in breed again. And she is fed up and she's gotta go in another ring and win, but she's not being cooperative. So we'll see how this goes. All right, you guys, so there's still quite a bit of show left. We still have one ring for the senior does. Hopefully Mayo gets uh, her leg, her third leg to be a permanent champion. Um, so anyway, so far uh, yesterday and today, we have gotten one best of breed, Mayo won the grand champion lineup. And then today we have gotten, where am I? Okay, today we got, um, Everest got reserve, which is awesome. There was a lot of beautiful bucks. And then Mayo took another grand champion and Mayo took best uh, of breed. So it's cool. So far we have won four ribbons, but again, I, if I haven't mentioned it already, all of the ribbons were ordered late, so they will be coming in the mail, so there's not going to be any cool ribbon photos at the, at the show or anything. It's, it's kind of a bummer, but it's, it is what it is. So four ribbons so far, we're doing pretty solid at this show, really excited. Look at these guys all tuckered out. You girls are up soon. You too, Vogue. Still the best of the this class. is the three-year-old class. Uh, and there is Parker Emily walking in. Lily. Crystal is holding on to her champ. Darren has got Cassie. She just showed us a better set in her leg. How we're here to hear from the side of how she's in motion as well. Uh, being more perpendicular from heart to strong uh, than we're seeing here on five. We got the back place uh, beyond five here. Uh, not, a couple of them not quite the capacity, and there's a couple of them not showing us quite uh, the medial support that we're seeing on some of these other goats that can be higher today. So that, that goat the judge is looking at there, that whole family's just done so well at the goat show. Now she's going to give Lily a look. points in the memory system and uh, overall uh, capacity, but the smoothness of the floor the
is our class of um, three-year-olds right here in the boards. One is placing over two for the advantage that she has in general appearance. She's a little more upstanding, a little tighter in that corner. Very nice class. Thank you. Hi, Darren. Hi, Dad. Excuse me, this is our... So Mayo did not get her third leg in that second ring. Um, she's really not behaving very well for me. She wanted to put her head down and put her elbows out and everything else. So, but she's she's fed up. She's tired. She's hot, and that's all right. But two, two today. So the judge said um, she was placed in fourth, which really surprised me. Actually, I didn't think she would get placed in fourth, uh, but it is what it is. So anyway, the judge said. When she got to her, that she had the most upstanding top line, and um, of all the other does ahead of her, and the most capacious udder, and yet was fourth. So, oh well. But Mayo did exceptional for this year and has two of her legs. Uh, who knows? Might just have to find some more shows to go to if possible to try to get her a finished doe this year. And then Lily. She was number two, and Emily kind of relaxed and let Lily not be positioned and got changed to number three. So, you never let your guard down in the ring. Not until you're walking out. for slot advantage in the memory system and overall symmetry when it's moved from the side. She shows us more forward. champion challenge for this go here on the left that just won now is being since may is a permanent grand champion she can challenge yeah. okay i'm crossing you being those here um Look, we have a pretty balanced though here to talk about class. She sells the dough behind her and overall capacity of memory system and the overall area of attachment. She's also a taller, more upstanding, but more correct up into the escutcheon. Um, she shows less, more smoothness of those attachments 
who was the uh, protrusion and we're sitting here on four. I'd like to see her move around that memory system a little bit better. Four, uh, in over five in turn for that overall width of memory system. And again, a dose. She's an eight-year-old with a freshman eagle. And she'll be commended for that, following the state with the champion of the day, Professor Green. Thank you. You still did good, huh? You won one of them. So, if you guys didn't hear the judge, she said that she was sticking with the two-year-old just simply because she just didn't have enough um, capacity in her udder right now. So, uh, in other words, her udder wasn't full, which I knew her udder was twice the size as yesterday. She's hot. She's over it. She's grouchy. So, I figured that could happen, and it did. But either way, we did we did pretty good with our with our dose. So, I feel good. So out of this lineup, your best show is going to be the La Mancha. I didn't. She was happy to get the heck out of there, huh? Yeah. And she didn't care about the ribbon. You they just good. they just want to get back in the trailer, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Not yet, girl. Let's go back to your pen. <laughs> Daisy a good look. in first place. What do you think all that dosey dough in there? I know, right? 
That's the reason I don't wear white. <laughs> Well, she's outstanding. She's going to level across the top line. She's going to go into that chest floor. Um, she's going to go in two. She is and then also huge. in dairy strength. Uh, she has flatness of bone, soft pie, but she has an over the two. Two now has the advantage over the third place, though, for those same reasons. Okay, goat lovers. There's Crystal coming up. Janelle is in the ring. As you see her track, she's more open than when she has question. She's also a bit more correct in, uh, in the front and the center and the bottom side that where she's fully on the bell bike. Close, closer place in here than this pair, but I do feel like we have a little bit more strength and second to bottom and it's probably better over our run there.
uh, advantage of body capacity and uh, depth and parts she's got in the chest for. She wants a better slope of the run uh, from hips to hands as well. Two in front of the run, uh, just shows us more strength throughout. As she flies with that person, you'll probably be a top of her. She's going to down over the bear stand two, three. Body. A lot more depth than little string bean. That was that easy was, 20 bucks. That Thanks was, for that. that you was, can have her back. That was <laughs> Goat says nay. Ah, uh, they, don't, they don't say that. This girl didn't do better for me though. She's acting a fool, like a spoiled baby. That was better, that was way better. I beat you. You beat me, you know, that one time. That one time. <laughs> uh, you should have got me yesterday when I had a hole in my britches. I saw, I was like, I don't want to ruin his day though. <laughs> yeah, let, it, just, it, let him walk around his with his panties on. So what type of gear do you need to be an uh, entry clerk? Um, you need a pen and a lot of, you need some patient panties. That's the main thing. Patient panties? Patient <laughs> panties, that's the big thing. What type of uh, footwear is required? Oh, well, I prefer this, but yeah. some people say you should wear closed toe shoes. But yeah. They don't. They don't know what they're talking about. No, so no, this no. is the first year that we've had shavings down. Would you say that's better than just the dirt ground no. for those types of shoes? Do you like the dirt better? I prefer the dirt yeah. for two reasons. That way you're really dirty. No, because then we can spray it down and it's cooler. It had nothing to do with the footwear. That's all about comfort. That's true. You, as you see, I'm about comfort. That was a perk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and the judges can see the feet better on the dirt. Yes, they definitely can. That's why I have to keep moving it out of the way. See? Yeah. See? So one more question. When you ripped your britches out yesterday, did somebody tell you before you left here or did you find out when you got home? Um, I was told, I'm not sure exactly how far into the whole thing. But um, I noticed midday. So it was a little after that. Okay, so at least there was a good Samaritan. I wasn't that good Samaritan. No, you weren't. But it's good that somebody was. You, you did make me change before we came. <laughs> I did, because he had a little hole, and I was like, babe, you're going to bust out your britches. That's right. And you're going to bend over, and he refused. See? You're trying to, you're I had trying gray to tape with me. I wasn't worried. Luckily, my husband didn't bust out his britches. Right. But he's behind the camera. Nobody would know except for everybody that's not looking through the lens. That's right. <laughs> yes. 
So you guys are about to go in and compete? Yes, we are. Any, any, any thoughts on who's going to win? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I hope it's you. But if he doesn't win, I hope you win. You don't want to win, so... I already won. You did, you did win one, right? I already won two, but I still want to win again. I won two. Except I won the Buck Show. It's time. Now do you have dog. Game face, Vogue. Game face. It's the last rank. Um, That's so cool. <laughs> the, the strength and power throughout. 
Yeah, as you get your hands on her, she's actually pretty open rear. I'm going to stay in the same class, though. She'll be a little Nice job. Look at his face. He's like, of course. I'll trade you back. Oh, oh, oh Jed. No. Oh. <laughs> Because you, you showed her glory. so well. Yeah. I told you, don't relax. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Nice work. It's like a... Well, I'm happy. <laughs> and I'm tired. Tired and happy. And now we don't get to leave. Because we have to... Best in show. Best in show now. So, yeah. We have to say hello. <laughs> so now that now once you win a ribbon it's like addicting, so I can't like I'm She'll so glad you guys are here. I would have just went home with my goat. No, no. Now you gotta stay till the very end. Right when you thought you were done. But it's a good a good reason. That's a very good reason. I agree to that. So cool. High five girl. These are some nice ones in this one. She did. For AOP, we have Casimir's Violet, Nigerian Dwarf, we have Patches Flower Bow. For our Nubian, Jacob's Pride, Strawberry Chanel. Gosh, our Over Posse is Blue Angel, Little Paloma. And our Toggenberg is Blue Angel, Itty Bitty Sassy. Okay, if we could walk them down next, please. over the top line, uh, still disappointing, as well as in the uh, Nigerian work also. And then we have the Nubian, who has, is very strange to blended, um, probably the most daring girl in the lineup today. And then we have the Oberhazli, very upstanding girl. Um, I'd like to see her a little stronger on those strut legs a little bit. Um, and then the cotton was the only one in the um, in the class, but very deserving of that first place. So if I look down the lineup, we're looking at general terms, here is strength and body capacity. I think the bill that has it the most is um, oh the new <laughs> Oh my god, she scared me. <laughs> <laughs> so after a long two days, May got a best of breed, beating the grand champion in the champion challenge. Mayo got her second grand champion leg, leaving one more to go for her permanent championship and also a best in breed. Vogue won a grand champion and went into the next ring to win her reserve. <laughs> And Everest, oh. with his beefy boy, he won a reserve as well. So all in all, I am very proud of how well our goats did in a very competitive show. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you again soon.